All right, section 3.9, number 27. We're supposed to find the tangent line to S at T equals 2. So if we put 2 in there, we'll get the point. So 9 times 2 is uh, 18. So we get 3 to the 18th is the Y y coordinate of the point where, where we're trying to find the tangent line and that's really really big so it's going to be really really high above 2 but so what now we got to find the derivative now to do the derivative of this uh, with the the base being 3 our base rule is that if if it's not e then uh, uh, if we have b to some uh, x, the derivative of this is ln b times b to the x. That's our rule when the base is not a nice one. So we just do that. So s prime of t equals um, ln 3 times 3 to the 9t times the derivative of the exponent, which is times 9. And now we're supposed to put 2 in for the t to find the slope at 2. So that would be ln 3 times 3 to the 18th times, and 9 is 3 to the second, so this is just uh, 3 to the 20th ln 3. There's the slope, and there's the point it goes through, and so our tangent line would be, just doing it in the point slope form, y minus 3 to the 18th equals m, times x minus 2. Now, we could have also found the derivative by taking ln of both sides. So I wanted to show that also. So let's just take the ln. So we have ln of s of t equals, if I take the natural log of this, the power will come down. So it'll be 9t ln 3. So now take the derivative and the derivative of this would be uh, 1 over s of t times the derivative of s of t. And that will equal the derivative of this. Well the ln 3 and the 9 are all constant so it's just uh, so it's basically um, 9 ln 3, this number times t, and the derivative of, of t is 1 times this. We bring the power down times this, so it's just 9 ln 3. And then I bring s sub t, multiply it times the other side, so s prime of t would be uh, 9 natural log of 3 times what s sub t was, which is 3 to the 9t. And that's exactly what we had before for the derivative. Then we would plug in the 2 again and get the same equation. Okay, that's 27. 32. So it's just the natural log of this, so f prime of x would be derivative of a natural log of something is 1 over that something times the derivative of the something, which is 2x, which simplifies to 2 over x. Or we could have said this is to the 2 power, we could have brought it down, and that would have been 2 ln x, and then the derivative 
of that derivative of ln is 1 over x times 2, we get the same answer. So you could have done, done it either way. Now, we're supposed to find the equation of the tangent line when x is 4. So we've got to find the uh, slope at 4, which is going to be 2 over 4, or 1 half. So that's our slope. And our point, we put 4 into the original equation. 4 squared, or 2 times the ln of 4. We could just use that. Uh, so it would be 2 times the ln of 4. Now, the equation of the tangent line would be y minus 2ln4, or 2ln16, 4 squared, 16, equals the slope, 1 half, times x minus the x-coordinate. Okay, 35. Find the equation of the tangent line for this. Well, if we have not a natural log, we can't just say it's 1 over this, so we have to, we'll convert this to natural logs by using the change the base rule, which becomes the natural log of w over the natural log of the base, 2. Rewritten so you can understand, that's just 1 over ln2, a number, times lnw. So f prime of w would be the constant, just follows along because it's times, it doesn't go to zero because we're not, uh, not add. So we got 1 over ln2 times the derivative of lnw, which is 1 over w. And w is a variable, so we don't have to go dw, dx, or t, or anything like that. So there's the derivative. We plug 1 8 in. So if I define the slope at 1 8, and that's 1 over ln2 times 1 over 1 8, which just becomes 8 over the ln2. Okay, and so there's our slope. Now let's find our point. W is 1 8th, and f of w, 2 to what power is 1 8th? The log base 2 of that, which we could do just natural log of 1 8th over natural log of 2, and it comes out to be negative 3. 2 to the negative 3 power is 1 8th. So our equation of the tangent line would be y minus a minus 3, which means y plus 3, equals slope is 8 over ln 2 times x minus 1 8th. And 39. It says use logs to find this one. So we'll take the log of both sides and we'll have ln y equals, now we've got, if we have a natural log of a product, that turns into the logs of the sum. So it's natural log of x minus 1. And it's multiplying, so we'd be adding the natural log of x minus 12 plus the natural log of x plus 7. So when we take the derivative, this becomes 1 over y times the derivative of y equals, the derivative of that is 1 over x minus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 1, plus the derivative of this is 1 over x minus 12 times the derivative of n side, which is 1, 
plus the derivative of this is 1 over x plus 7 times the derivative of the inside, which is 1. And so we're trying to find the derivative. So we multiply both sides by y. So the derivative, or dy dx, is simply all of this times y. But y was this original thing up there, x minus 1 times x minus 12 times x plus 7. And there's the derivative.